Good evening to everyone. First of all, it's such a big honor for me to have this from you. We have Crimean Tatar tradition like that. It's an honor for me to be with you today. To be in the United States for, of America, in a country that helped us fight for freedom. Tonight, for the right to live at home, where there is a room for joy and smiles, happiness and love. It all may sound cliche and boring until it's taken away from you. Until the moment you hear the air raid sirens, explosions, cries for help, and news about count countless deaths. The sounds of war are frightening. I have devoted my whole life to exploring the magic of sounds. However, starting on February 24th, 2022, there was no place for music in my life. On that day, I was forced to leave my home to the sound of air raids, raid sirens, with my two sons in my arm, just like my great-grandmother years ago. It was in Crimea. In 1944, the Soviets forcefully deported her and her five small children to Central Asia in a cattle train without no water, no food. And tragically, for one of the daughters, the journey was fatal. It was ruthless and human. The story of my family is just a drop in the sea of lives ruined by the bloody regime of tyranny. And the saddest moment for me is understand that no matter how many times it is said never again, history repeats itself with terrifying accuracy. 77 years later, we are losing our homes, evacuating children due to missile, missile attacks. It's happening now, right at this moment, right in the middle of Europe. A war without any rules, a war full of suffering and destruction, a war soaked with blood full of hope, I hope that we can end it together once and for all and that no one else should go through this again. For God's sake, never again. The war has long been a genocide of Ukrainian people. You see this picture from Bucha, Baradyanka, without any mercy. We have already lost more than 220 kids in tens of thousands of civilians forever. The death count does not stop for a second. This is a war of young volunteers being shot, journalists being shot, girls in occupied cities being raped, elderly people being mercilessly murdered and our men being killed in the battles they did not start. Today this war is at my home, but where will it be tomorrow if it's not stopped? It is controlled by the man who has no limit, no boundaries for evil. His evil is tremendous. He maimed his own country as well as countless others. On behalf of my nation, would like to ask you for something. Each of you has a strong voice. Here in the United States, your voice, uh, your voice can strengthen our cry for the truth about the ruthless Russian tyranny. Please don't leave us in the struggle alone. Please help save the people who are now under the blockade in Mariupol, in Azovstal. Those who are being held hostage, do not keep silent. Speak to the government, take to the streets. Please stand with Ukraine. 
I'm heartily grateful to the Atlantic Council for this award, to the people of the United, United States of America supporting my country, accepting the Distinguished Leadership Award. I would like to dedicate it to every Ukrainian, everyone who does not know the world, give up. To the people at the front and those who volunteer and cure, to every Ukrainian artistic helping today to spread the truth, to every mother hiding their kids in a bomb shelter. Together, we are invincible. When strangers are coming, they come to your house, they kill you all and say, bring my kid, not killed. Where's your mind? Humanity cries. You all think you are good, but everyone dies. Don't swallow my soul, our souls. We could build a future where people are free to live and love the happiest time, her time. Where's your kind? Humanity rise. You think you are God, but everyone dies. Don't swallow my soul, our souls. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.